welcome back to our channel today we're doing something very relaxing and very zen to keep us all grounded we're gonna do a face lymphatic drainage massage I usually use the rose crystal stones um, which look like this they look like ice but they're crystal stones very transparent these are connected with your heart chakra if you're a person who's into chakras and all of that so the first thing that you do is make sure you have a very nice ambient environment you can play your favorite relaxing music put the candles or scents or make the room smell very nice lavender scents would be amazing then you prepare your skin so you need to cleanse your skin twice and then apply an oil-based serum on your skin so the first thing we'll do is uh, take two or three deep breaths with your eyes closed okay I chose to take two deep breaths for the sake of time so once you're all relaxed, we'll start off the lymphatic face drainage massage with opening up our lips from behind the ear, just here. Just use your two fingers and place them here. So you just pump one, two, three, that's it, and then leave it there. So that helps to open up the lymphatic system. Then you do circular movements, one, two three the third one you bring it down so you have literally flushed out toxins and then when you come to the face you can use your stones those who don't have stones you can always use your knuckles so you can use these fingers and we start from here so I'll come a bit closer so you can see how I work it so I usually would start from here. This is my customized face lymphatic drainage. So you end up to here, come back. Twice. Then just under the eyebrows, cause that's where we get a lot of tension. Just put a bit of pressure there with your knuckle or your stone and start going under the eyebrow okay happy with that come under the eye not too much pressure very lightly glide come back again that helps to reduce puffiness and dark circles of course when you do it uh, very frequently okay then the parts where you have done that and this you have left all these toxins hanging around uh, the temple so you just go up here and you flush them down flush them down up to there then you come here under the nose on the side of the nose draw under the cheek temple flush down Again and flush down top of the lip flush down flush down under and one more the chin we start from the chin so this part is the part where it works mostly for chewing for talking and some people sleep while clench their jaws while sleeping so it's a very uh, tense area that people don't think about so we we'll work on it at least three times Okay. 
remember we've drawn out all toxins to the side of our jaws so we'll stimulate it a little bit we're like making a concussion preparing to flush out those toxins down so you do it three times I'll just do the last part all right so the neck definitely has the lymphatic nodes uh, you can find them behind the neck all these parts are all lymphatic um, nodes which are located so we can work separately on this part we can work starting from here the back twice is enough and try put a bit more pressure there because the muscles can be quite tight and then under your earlobe twice twice if you have enough time you can always go under here and go down okay you can go this way this way you can use your guasha stones if you have them Be very cautious of this area this adam's apple for the guys uh, but it's not really nice to press on this area on the throat it's very uncomfortable and i'm sure you would feel it and you wouldn't go there anyways here here and here so how was that i hope it was super easy and simple you can always replay and watch how i've done um, the sequence it's just customized on my style there are different ways that people do their lymphatic face drainage massage but this is my version um, a facial massage without using knuckles or any rose crystal stones so you need to make sure that your skin has enough like um, lubrication for movement so again you can use your face oils you can use your oil based serums it's all up to you okay so now we start here we do it fast because we want to stimulate blood circulation. Okay. And the forehead sweeping across. So your sweeping is quite light and not slapping your face. So yeah, this is just to stimulate your skin and end here. All right, then when you start the massage, you use this part and pinch, pinch, going up, come back, pinch, pinch, going up, a nice squeeze three times. Oh, this brings all the blood flow to the surface. I can literally feel my skin warming up. Okay, from this side, we can start on the eyebrow section. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And then the forehead can be tricky, but we will make do with what we can. But make sure your movements are pretty moderately quick to boost the circulation and the blood system to come to the surface of your skin and we always end here all right so then now we we end off with a nice relaxing glide come to the temple and three rotaries three and then give it a moment and then release wow i feel there's a lot of circulation which has happened and it feels really nice actually i call it the face gym because you're working out the muscles on your skin it gives a lot of boost in your circulation it improves the texture if you have scars try to work on your scars on the face doing those routines put enough lubrication 
um, if you have scars actually you can use the rose hip seed oil it's excellent for scars you just have to keep in the routine to see the best results I hope you found my legal techniques um, entertaining and relaxing at the same time see you on the next coming videos